Okay, just to be clear, Windows Update updates normal Windows stuff and some drivers, but it doesn't update them all. Today we're going to cover how to do uh, all the different kind of drivers that you need to keep your system stable and running. So if we go to the Settings app and we look in here, you have both standard updates and optional. Sometimes there'll be an optional one directly from the manufacturer of a component. In this case, Intel Corporation and suggesting that you may need to do these. Now this is a very generic Bluetooth driver and a net driver, it says. Uh, maybe so. So I went ahead and clicked on them and automatically updates it and everything is fine. But that's not going to fix your system on its own. And by the way, if we check uh, Windows 11 updates, it operates exactly the same, uh, except that it's just hidden a little bit. In Windows 11, you'll find them uh, under Windows Update, but under the Advanced Options. And you come down here and you'll see if down a little bit lower you'll see optional updates are listed there. It'll even tell you how many are there. And in this case, it's really uh, nothing for me to worry about. It's uh, testing on some hardware I was doing, uh, so I'm not going to update it. But what you would do is that you would look here, see what they are, select the ones you want to do, just by uh, clicking on the box, and then go ahead and select it. The most important updates you can do are updating the drivers that come with your motherboard. And I'm going to go ahead and launch System Information. You just type it into the search bar. You'll see it. The app comes up. you see all the information about it. Here, I'm looking at my motherboard right here, and I've highlighted it. Now, to be able to search for it, you can't right-click, but you can come up here to the menu and say Edit or Copy. And then you can bring up an editor like uh, Notepad. And you can see it's in my uh, clipboard. So with the exact model number in my system's clipboard, I can go out and open up a browser window and go ahead and search for that. So let me open a browser, go up here, and right click and say uh, search for, or just copy and paste it and hit enter, and uh, it'll go find it. There it is right there. And there's my motherboard at Azusa's website. Now that's some third party, so don't get caught up in that. So if I clicked on the right link, I'll go to the exact page on your manufacturer's website. In this case, I'm going to go over here to the support page and click on that because that's where all your drivers are going to be. This is normally what it's at. Now I went to the facts page, but we just simply go to the other tab that says drivers and tools. Now keep in mind every manufacturer is a little differently, but basically they're in the same place. And you notice here there's two drivers and tools and there's BIOS. First thing you want to do is your system, and I'm on my old Windows 10 system, and here's all the updated drivers with the dates and version numbers and all that. Simply review this and see if there's anything that's been updated since your last update. Now after reviewing all these, I decided to go ahead and do some downloads, and if I click on the download button, it'll open up the download to where I save as, and go to my downloads. And here's all my downloads that I've done in the past uh, for Zeus. Uh, I can actually create a directory for the motherboard and uh, that will allow me to uh, keep them all in the right same place. This time I'm going to use the date, today's date, because I'm going to download a bunch of them. So from there it's off to the races. I'm going to click on each one of the ones I want, uh, download them up here, save them, and it'll automatically remember where it was at. And I keep doing this for all the ones that I think I need. Now, depending upon the site and the speed and the size of the, uh, the download, you might see things like this where it has a bunch of downloads there that are running uh, and still saving to my disk. But after they're all done, I can go ahead and start doing some updates. But before I do that, I'm going to switch from the uh, driver to the BIOS page and see what BIOS is that are there. Now, the BIOS is the brains of your motherboard that operates before Windows gets loaded. So you want to see if there's a latest update. And that will tell you sometimes the reason for them. If it's just for a newer processor that you don't need, don't download the update. Download the update. But otherwise, uh, go ahead and uh, update it. One more thing about BIOS updates is that there's very they can be complicated and they're different for each manufacturer. Some have utilities nowadays. Some automatically save a backup so you don't toast your motherboard uh, by incorrectly applying the update. So be very careful. Once you have it. Do some research and find an example of how to do it for your particular manufacturer and model. Now installing updates are usually pretty straightforward. They're simply applications that write files out to your disk replacing the old ones. So like I said earlier, I'm going to go ahead and do uh, the audio one. 
You can unzip your file with your favorite zip program. I just use uh, the built-in Explorer unzip, and it'll create the, the list that I can go to. So once this finishes unpacking, uh, I can go there and run the install. So here we are at the end, and it's done. Okay, so now I'm going to go to that directory up here that it created. Go in here and find the, usually it's the setup uh, exe file, something like that. And there we have it. I run that, and then it'll run the install procedure for that particular piece of hardware. Uh, in this case, it's getting it ready to install. And usually, uh, they'll have a lot of ones that are using the install shield, which is a utility that a lot of manufacturers use. It's a, a way to install software. You just run that to install your software. Now, depending upon the size and complexity of the software, it may take a few seconds or several minutes to unpack everything and get it all ready. I've cut this one short because it, it took a long time for it to uh, get ready for the installation. Now, again, depending upon your software, it may require a reboot. In other words, the files are already in use, and to replace the old files with the new files, it has to let go of them. And the only way sometimes to do that is to reboot your machine. And uh, in this case, they prompt you to do that. Besides the drivers you have on the manufacturer's website, you sometimes have drivers from specific component manufacturers. Normally, NVIDIA cards is a great example of that. I use NVIDIA, and you run their utility, which will either automatically, if it's set up like mine is, or it'll prompt you through the process. Uh, and it'll get there and bring it up. Now, you see uh, here, I already am up to date. But to do an update, I would go up here to the upper uh, right-hand corner and uh, click on uh, getting an update. And you notice here, uh, I have a choice. I always use custom because I want a fresh install. To do that, I go down here at the end of it and I click on the fresh and clean install to, before I start my update. And then it'll go through it, your screen will blink a few times, and you're done. So there you have it, how to install some drivers. Don't blame Windows Update, don't blame Windows 11. Make sure you keep up to date on your drivers, especially the ones from your motherboard manufacturer. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like the video. If you want some more, please subscribe to The Old Guy Geek and click on the bell to get notifications. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. The links are in the description of the video.